Hey there, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel for a Friday Reads slash um, book haul, tiny little book haul, and, um, which is actually wishful reading, things that I want to be reading but don't have the brain power for just yet. So um, yeah, this is the last Friday Reads that uh, will be filmed in this location. We will be spending next week unpacking hopefully our things are supposed to be delivered on Monday so um, hopefully all of next week will just be unpacking and then we will be kind of trying to go back to or decide what our new normal is so that's exciting this week was house closing utilities switching sick kidding <laughs> I mean it was it was it's been quite a week so um, cozy mysteries have been my jam basically exclusively this week which is great one of the things that I really realized this week is that I enjoy cozy mysteries obviously not because of their literary prowess um, but rather that I really enjoy getting to know a certain set of characters through um, a series of books and through a, a number of pages not just a one book investment I enjoy investing my time in getting to know these characters so I did finish for example live and love pie by Ellie Alexander this is the ninth book in the big shot mystery series so there are I mean they're all about this size so I've spent uh, I mean I've invested a lot of my time reading about Jules and her family and friends in Ashland Oregon and while this book was not my favorite um, I guess the killer right away and um, I felt like this was more of a book that kind of moved the characters along but um, you know how like in TV series you get to an episode that's clearly not about the plot it's clearly about getting the characters from one place to another so that the plot can progress that's kind of what this book felt like to me um, we introduced more characters and um, the main conflicts in the main character's life, Jules, kind of took a back seat in this book, which was fine. Uh, and the recipes in the back, as always, look delicious, so I'm glad that I read it, and I can't wait for the next book to come out, but I think it's not until October. So I'm going to have to wait for that one. The other cozy mystery series that I read several books in, so I'm not gonna talk about them individually, was from, I think it's the Library Lover's Mystery Series by Jen McKinley. And I'd read the first three or four in the series already, and I just finished several more. And again, I just really enjoy um, getting into the characters' lives. And obviously it's a cozy mystery series, so it's not the most realistic to real life, but um, it's real enough that I enjoy it. Um, and it's, it's, this one actually had me laughing out loud at the love triangle in the, <laughs> with the characters. So I recommend this cozy mystery series if um, libraries, literary references, um, and kind of out there love triangles are, are your thing. So now on to the book haul. Oh, actually first, if you wanna know specifics about the books that I read in that series, I'd be happy to fill you in. I just don't know that it's worth taking up time on the video. But if let me know down below if you are interested and I will totally talk to, talk to you about them. So I also purchased two books this week and don't really have the brain power to read them quite yet, but I'm super excited about them. So this is the first one. It's called Camelot's End by John Ward. And the subtitle is Kennedy versus Carter and the fight that broke the Democratic Party. So my first master's thesis was about the Carter administration. I have a special place in my heart for all things Carter. And, um, but I have not, so my work was mostly in Carter foreign policy. This is about very domestic things happening and, and just at the, on the party level, which I know next to nothing about. And the only thing that I really know about Ted Kennedy is Chappaquiddick. So I am so thrilled to read this book and learn more about what happened in 1980 and um, 
and how it applies to the Demo Democratic Party today. So I'm really excited and can't wait to fill you in more about this one when I read it. And then the other book that I got is Related. So this is called Victory Lab, The Secret Science of Winning Campaigns uh, by Sasha Isenberg. And this was updated in 2016 with a new postscript, presumably about the 2016 presidential election. So this is about the data and the science and um, the metrics and the analytics that go into campaigning. And I am so, like, I am totally nerdy about that. I am the person who up until very recently, now I don't, but I used to watch the, um, the State of the Union address like other people watch the Oscars or the Golden Globes or something and watch what people were wearing and what kind of, um, you know, like what message, what they were saying. Uh, nope, let me try that one again. The message that their clothing was sending, uh, I like to analyze things like that and just, uh, I, I used to love that kind of politics and um, of course anymore I can't really handle it because it's uh, tainted by the current administration, but I think that this book will be hopefully kind of enlightening and I'm interested to see what they have to say about, or what this book has to say about um, the data behind electioneering. So let me know if you have read either of those books or any of the great cozy mystery series that you would like to recommend to me. Um, let me know if you have any comments down below, and I hope you have a great weekend. I will talk to you later. Bye.